everybody, so now we are into the deeper, more, less good part of the X-Men franchise. We are looking at a film that some people hate, some people like, some people just fall into the middle. Um, where do I fall? We're going to see that today. Because today, we are looking at X-Men The Last Stand. I got three movie pack right here. So yeah, um, I'm going to try and bust a ton of X-Men reviews out. So yeah, um, I'm going to try and get them all out today. That's a big goal, but I'm going to keep it to it. Um, it's, more, it's definitely going to take me into the night, but yeah. The darkest of the night. If you've seen Friday 13 Part 8, the, the opening, you know that um, intro, but yeah. So, X-Men The Last Stand. Let's talk about the good of the film. Because I do think there's some good to be found in the film. Uh, One, Hugh Jackman's performance is still good. I don't think it's as good as the others in the previous two, but I like how they add more of an emotion to him. Um, I enjoy this first 40 minutes, 40, 45 minutes of The Last Stand. Um, there's a cool, like, training room scene, the danger room. I like that scene, um, in the beginning. Um, I like the opening, uh, uh, where, um, Magneto and, uh, Charles find, um, Jean, um, at her original house. Um, and, uh, um, I like the performances that they both give. They're still a good, uh, comeback. Um, they bounce off of each other when they're arguing, um, at the scene of when they're at Jean's Grey's house when she's about to, like, kill Xavier Charles, so yeah, um, um, I like, um, that they add emotion to some lines, cause when Wolverine is talking to Cyclops of how he, he just has to, like, move on of the, um, of Jean dying, he says, hey, not everyone hears as fast as you, Logan, and Logan just stands there, and it's really, and I think that's good stuff, I think that's good stuff, sorry, I was scratching my leg, um, but yeah, I think that's good uh, impactful stuff, um, and still, I, I like some of the, of the other performance, Halle Berry is fine, um, the actor who plays Beast, really good casting, really good, um, by the way, Mac from Predator is in this movie, did you know that, you seen the movie Predator, Mac, the guy who, um, is, like, on revenge for the Predator, and, like, spoilers for Predator, like, is, he's the guy, like, got shot in the face, um, like his head blew up, the blood splattered on the camera. That guy, he's in this movie. He's like a general. I was blown away. I was really blown away by that. Um, we watching the film, and that's pretty much it. Um, well, actually, I do like the final battle. I do like the final battle. I really like the final battle. I think it's very entertaining. That's pretty much it. Let's get into the bad, because unfortunately, there is quite a bit of negative that I can say about. Last end. I don't hate the movie. There's a lot the stuff that I do kind of hate about it, but I still don't really dislike it. Um, here we go. Uh, they ruin a ton of characters in the movie. Say the scene where Charles Xavier dies. Professor X. I should be almost crying when I see that. When he like shadows away, I'm just like, oh, he's dead. Um, and it's just, like, passed on. And they introduce a ton of new mutants in the movie. The scene where Magneto stops the truck. Um, that's a, it's a cool scene. And I like the scene where he lifts the Golden Great Bridge. But the scene where he stops the truck and, and they're introducing the new mutants. The previous film fleshes out the the mutants. It, they flush them out very good. This film rams past them. They get Brian Cran... Not Brian Brett Ratner. Brett Ratner, he never, he's the guy who directed Rush Hour. That's like an action buddy cop movie. Um, no, I don't think that's the best take, um, to go for a comic book. Because he does, it shows, there was like, this movie, by the way, I'm bored when I'm watching this movie. I am bored, we'll get to that later, but again, the new mutants. In the scene where Magneto stops the truck, it's flaming by. You show the Juggernaut. We'll talk about him later. Huh? The Juggernaut. Um, and then the, it it like flames past all of them, and it's just like, oh yeah, his new mutant. He's a new mutant. They ruin Angel. They ruin Angel. 
Like all the memes, they just fly past. They don't give any time to breathe. It's so it's really fast paced. Um. So yeah. And Magneto turns. And Magneto is popping out like puns and stuff. He says, "In chess, the pawns go first. Charles always wanted to create bridges. Why? Why? You." So Ian McKellen is great as Magneto in the previous two. He's still decent in the movie, don't get me wrong. But it's just that when... <sighs> okay, never mind. But, like, when he keeps on, like, doing puns, it makes you feel like a silly comic book movie character. It makes you feel like Jim Carrey from The Mask. Have you seen The Mask? It's a really good movie. Check it out. Um, I saw. I actually saw The Mask for the first time a couple of days ago, actually, about a week. Um, so, yeah. Um, but, anyways, um, it's just so weird how they do that. Juggernaut. The Juggernaut. The, the Juggernaut. Everyone knows the line. Most likely the most famous line of the movie. I'm the Juggernaut. Why? Just Why? Thank God for Deadpool 2. If you've seen the movie, you know what I'm talking about. But yeah. Um, and the movie's very messy and boring. I mean, very boring. There's a danger room sequence. There's so much boring. It's just talking, emotion, tragedy. And there's a stupid love triangle. There's a love triangle in the movie that does not fit. It does not fit into the entire film. Um, of Kitty Pride. Um, Rogue and Iceman. It it's it, it's dumb. It's dumb. It's over convoluted. The movie has way too many subplots. Um, and about the boringness, there was like no nothing. I mean, yeah, there was a tiny house fight, but that still it's going on. It's really edited and cut between them talking with Gene, uh, Ian McKellen, and, um, Magneto and Charles Xavier, Professor X. They're just talking and it's cutting back. It's really cutting. Um, and then the final fight, it's cool, I guess. Um, so yeah, um, and some of the mutant powers are cool. That's pretty much it. So that is my opinion. That's my review of X-Men The Last Stand. We're gonna get into even more crappier stuff next time for the review. Oh, God. Oh, God, X-Men. I can't wait to rant. Oh, God. Okay, so overall, I'm gonna give X-Men The Last Stand... A C. I can find some fun with it. I like the performances. Some action's cool. Yeah. <laughs> and the rest is just... They ruin a ton of subplots in the movie. Like Jean Grey and stuff like that. I haven't talked about that because I don't want this review to be too long. We're already over 8 minutes. So yeah. Sure, come like and subscribe. And tune in for my next review. It'll really be an entertaining one.